Hey guys! I got another special unboxing video here for you today. Today we are going to be looking at a special edition of Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. I think this is called the Walled Cards Edition of the game. I know this game has been out for a while, but when I picked it up I looked on Amazon and sure enough the special edition of Persona Q was on sale for like $41 rather than $75, so it was just like I'm going to go pick this game up, and I'm going to pick up the special edition because it's kind of discounted, and honestly, it's like, what, four, like $1 more than the regular game itself, so it's just like, I'll go ahead and get that then. So, I went ahead and picked it up, but anyways, we're going to be unboxing this. I've never played Persona game. I played a little bit of Persona 3 on the PS2. I would say about an hour's worth. It's not really much at all. But I'm actually trying to get into the Persona series because um, I've watched a lot of gameplay of it and it looks really fun. But apparently this is the first one that appeared on the 3DS. And honestly, this is supposed to be a lot different than the other ones. But anyways, let's get on to the unboxing. Alright, so now we're going to get on to the unboxing of this game. Um, this is in a big boxed <laughs> version, so this is going to be worth a lot of money come later on down of its lifespan. Uh, most games that come into these big plastic boxes like this, they will be coming a little bit more rare than later on down the road. I know certain games like Kid Icarus Uprising and Cave Story 3D go on for a pretty hefty price for the box version. But uh, as you guys can see on the side here, they got the male protagonist from... Persona 4 and Persona 3 on here. So let's go ahead and look on the back here what's in inside this. It comes with uh, the game itself. It comes with a Nintendo 3DS game case, Sound of the Labyrinth music CD, a 38-page art book, and uh, 11 cards of tarot card set number 2. I don't know what that means, and it probably has something to do with the game. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is in plastic shrink wrap, so I'm just going to go ahead and take my pocket knife right here and make an entry hole. And just... Here, just tear it off like this. There we go. So make an entry hole, and now we can go ahead and tear it open here. There we go. Okay, so now we got the shrink wrap off. Um, it did come with a piece of paper that's on the back here. Oh, this is probably why. It's got a back to it. So let's go ahead and... I don't know if I can take that off. That's just sticky gunk, I think. So we can go ahead and... I hope I don't want to rip this. There it is. Okay, so there we go. So that's pretty cool. So this is called the Wild Cards Edition. Premium Edition. Okay, get that sticky gunk off there. There we go. I don't like. I don't like sticky gunk. Uh, one of my biggest pet peeves is trying to get stickers off of boxes and stuff like that. I hate doing that. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. It looks like there's a bunch of stuff in there. Let's go ahead and grab that. Looks like that's the art book and the cards, and this is the 3DS case and the game itself and. Looks like a music CD. Alright, so that's inside the box there. But the box looks pretty cool though. I like the I like the box. <laughs> it's really, really nifty. Now let's go on and get now that we've gotten all the stuff out of there, let's go on ahead and look at the other stuff. Okay, so now that we've gotten all the contents out of the box, let's go ahead and look at the said contents. The first thing here that I want to take a look at is these tarot cards. Um, I don't know what these items do. I have not, not done really that much research other than seeing gameplay of the game itself. So I'm going to assume this has to do with something with the game. Uh, because they advertise it that you get these set of cards. So I'm going to go ahead and open these kind of see what they do. If, they're, if they act like the, uh, the AR cards like you get when you get your 3DS or the AR cards whenever you get um, Kid Icarus Uprising, then they might do something like that. They're really big cards. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. I've never played Persona, so I this I know for a fact that these cards have something to do with it because uh, from what I've seen, the cards are a major role in the series itself. Uh, I know about Igor and everything, and he uses cards and stuff like that. I think the 
Personas come from cards. I don't know. I haven't played Persona, so uh, this will be my first time I played the game. So, well, like purposely and all the way through, really, because <laughs> I played Persona Three, like I mentioned before, but I've only played it like for like an hour. But these look really cool. I like these cards. Um, like I said, I don't know if these have something to do with the game itself or not, but that's really neat, and I like these cards. Uh, so apparently this is set to these tarot cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the art book. The art book here is the art direction of Persona Q. It says special net message from the director. But you see the Persona 3 hero. Yukari. I will butcher these names really bad because I'm not good at Japanese names whatsoever. So I'm just not even going to try to look at it, but... They look really fun, uh, cool because they're actually like chibi drawings of the characters. I've seen character portraits and all that other stuff, but they don't look like this. They are all chibi like drawings and everything. Now here's the Persona 4 hero. I actually really like this. This is this is neat that they actually put this in the game and everything, or put this with the special edition. It is. Go ahead and. Look through here, there's Teddy. I do know who Teddy is. He's like the mascot of Persona 4. And these must be new characters for the game itself. I know my camera is really kind of close to it, so I've tried to position it. And actually, let me go ahead and position it a little bit further for you guys so that way you'll be able to see the whole book. And the boss gallery, the god of power. Queen of Hearts, Merciful Clergyman, Kind Doctor. I kind of like looking at these books. I know I'm kind of wasting time here, but... The Culture Festival, The Fortune Telling Booth, The Leftover Deli, and You in Wonderland. Apparently this is kind of like a dungeon, dungeon crawler in a way, rather than, you know, a regular Persona game. This is a lot different than the other Persona games. I know Persona 5 is coming out this year, and I'm kind of looking forward to that. That's the art book. I mean, look at the spider web detail on that. That looks cool. I like that. And then right here is the music CD. So this has, I'm guessing, a couple of tracks. Yeah, it only has four tracks here. It has uh, Maze of Life, a special mix, Light, The Fire, Up in the Night, Dark Hour Extended, Laser Beam, Secret Path Version, Best Friend, OP Maze Version. Uh, let me see where they... Is it over here? No, it's over. It should be over here somewhere. How to get the CD on. It might be on the top here. It's got a seal, I think. I don't want to open that yet. It just has a music CD and everything, so it'll have musical tracks you can see. it. But this is the big thing that comes with the special edition is a special 3DS pouch. I actually actually really kind of like this. Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay. So this is a, a special 3DS pouch. I'm gonna be probably using this for my new 3DS XL now. So um, I did just recently get a new 3DS. Oh, that is so cool got Teddy, and I don't know what the dog's name is from Persona 3, because I know he's from Persona 3. Well, he has even a pouch here where Teddy's at. Put your 3DS games and stuff. That is cool. I like that. But yeah, that's that's pretty much that's really cool. And then finally, <laughs> after all that, is the game itself. Persona Q. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Now, let's go ahead and see. I think this might have a manual. I'm not too sure. No, it actually doesn't. <laughs> hey, look, Club Nintendo code. <laughs> too bad the Club Nintendo doesn't around anymore. It doesn't have a manual, unfortunately. It just has a safety, safety thing on it. And that makes me sad. Like I said before in previous unboxing videos, I kind of get sad a little bit when... And there goes the game itself. <laughs> but I kind of get a little bit sad that the... That there are no any no more manuals in games anymore. That's kind of what the game looks like. It kind of looks. The one thing I like about Persona is 
from what I've seen so far. It's kind of got like a, I don't know, I've kind of got like a classic mis uh, murder mystery 60s vibe from this game. Kind of like, um, not so much like Scooby-Doo. I guess that's the, like the, post the closest thing I can relate it to. It's kind of got like this um, feeling about it and stuff like that. That's kind of why I like it and that's why I got intrigued by it. It looks really cool. But yeah, guys, that was the Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth, the wall card special edition. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next video I do. Take care, everybody.